Hey everyone, welcome back to Pause Run Plays Monster Sanctuary. So I'm actually back in the blue caves. I wanted to explore a little bit more before we go back. Uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to catch up on. Uh, this one here, I, we actually could have gone here at any point, I just didn't. Uh, we don't have a Grummy yet. Can we get a Grummy? Uh, I may want to swamp... To you? We'll try this. Now what's interesting is that these are all high level, I think because I haven't uncovered these tiles yet. So they kind of scale to my current level. I'm not totally sure that's how it works, but I think it is. seems to be how it works, at least, because I, I just fought enemies before I turned on the recording that were, like, level 5. So I think that's that's how that works, which is, is interesting. So you can essentially end up having really high-level enemies in areas you've already been to. Um, we might as well get the rest of our buffs up here. We actually took a ton of damage. Uh, I probably want to do an Ice Storm. Uh, I probably should do it First, hoping for some chills here. Got some, very nice. And then we'll uh, maybe we'll do another ice storm. Yeah, because that should kill the one in the front. We got a double chill on that guy. He's just gonna shield. Uh, that's an uncomfortable amount of damage. Let's fix a little bit of that. Hmm. Nice hit there. That was the chill proc, I think, doing that extra damage. Unfortunately, it does leave us with this dude. So I guess we'll just throw another chill on him. So he might not be able to do... Oh, no, he still has enough. That's going to be poison, I think. Yeah. That's fine. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to cast a buff to give us a little extra combo. And I think... It's three times. It's four times. Let's go with Claw first. Hope for a crit. Got it. Got two crits. I'll just finish up the Fiery Punch. I don't think we're going to get like a four star or anything on this, but... No, three star. That's fine. And a Kunai. Uh, I get some skill up or skill points to spend here, too. But maybe let's go through the rest of this section. Here we go. Yeah, some treasure chests here. Got a pair. And two level up badges, and I think, yeah, because there's this place here, which we could see before. Uh, bracelet plus two, very nice. Is anybody using a bracelet currently? No. Uh, okay, we have a lot of skill ups. Let's let's spend these. So Tengu's on to the next tier, finally. Fire Affinity, Flame Strike 2, not bad. Double Impact, Mana Plus. Poison Cloud could be good. Sure. Let's see, for Vero, what did I want to do? Do I want to give you Heroism? Maybe. Cascade, dodging. Do I need anything in this tree? I honestly really don't think so. How about in this tree, however? Defense. Yeah, heroic party is probably something we want. Um...
so we might want to start spending some points to get down there. Because this this is like a, just a super buffing character. And if every monster in the party has like even five buffs on them, it's an extra 5% damage. It's not an insignificant amount. We don't really care about Vero's damage. I and mean, we do, but we don't. Uh, we have to take beating level two to get down to this tree, unfortunately. So we'll do that. Uh, Magwai, you will take... No, honestly. A severe hit. Critical defense. You might want avalanche. Recover's not bad either. In fact, recover might be the way to go. Yeah, let's get that. My thinking on that is just, um... Hmm. What do you want? Mana proc, magic proc, defense proc. Get a lot of procs on this. Which... I mean, I have some I have some thoughts about just the overall concept here. Do you have any sort of defense buff or defense based buff? No. Uh, we could give you. Shielding stuff? But I don't think we necessarily need it. Let's go with defense. Um, what I was going to say is I think there is something to be said about... Did I really pick crit chance here? That was very foolish of me because that does not go down further. I mean, not, not a bad idea, just an odd one. I'll get to that thought eventually, I just really need to... We, we probably want to get more healing. Do we know what charge does exactly? I, I always forget, it's some sort of buff. Oh, I can crit heal. Yeah, maybe well, let's let's grab bigger heal. Uh, essentially, if we play, if we have defensive attributes and we're self-sustaining, we can get through any fight, right? It's not going to be well. I mean, that's not necessarily true, but there's probably a lot of fights that we can get through through survivability. It's not going to get as high ratings, but we'll get through it. Here we should go with probably Claw 3, honestly. Oh well, we might want Life Overload too. How much would that give us right now? Not, not a bad amount, like 13, right? That's just gonna scale forever. So yeah, we'll do that. Certainly there will be enemies that can just overpower us if we don't kill them fast enough, but looking at the way that combat has kind of been shaking out so far, I don't think that's going to be commonplace. Oh, that's that's right, it's the bubbles down there. We can't we can't do that. Um, so there is there is something up here that I can get now that someone pointed out in the comments, which thank you, I totally would have forgotten. We'll go to that. Uh, also mentioned in the comments was that um, they might be adding map markers and things. In fact, I think there's like DLC or free updates or something of the sort coming out for this in the not too distant future, which is neat. 
actually didn't realize that beyond early access they were going to be doing a whole bunch of updates and stuff, so that's cool. Yeah, map markers might be coming in. I don't know if they're going to do like a custom thing or uh, an automatic tagging of things you've seen. If I'm being honest, I kind of just like the automatic tagging or, you know, unlockable things that just dump everything on the map. I find those to be beneficial. Uh, I still really want to get a, a Grummy. Yeah, see, these are only level 6. Uh, we, can, we can go with this. Why do I have uh, our wolf in the party every single time? I don't know. One, thematically, it makes sense to me. And two, it's a, it's a good character. May not be the way to go forever, but... I'm gonna try to get a crit here. Nice. That's what I was hoping. So we should be able to finish this fight, this turn. And we'll do it... We'll go with this. And that. Now this should be a pretty high ranking, maybe a 4. Maybe a five? We got a five. Grummy egg, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Nice. I feel like you're kind of more of a Marlboro, but let's see what you have. Wait a minute. Wait just a dang minute. Yeah, you only have three trees. Have we seen an another creature like that yet? I don't think we have. That's interesting. And they all have like double... Double types. There's like wider trees. Uh, so let's see. You've got a... Water tree. With some debuffing. Ooh. Multi-regeneration. However, you don't cast regeneration. You can just cast it on yourself. Which isn't great. You do have an auto heal though, which I like. Um, and you do have some pretty significant healing. My shield, so that's a self shield. Healing shield. Hmm. Uh, and you've also got some poison stuff. Like a lot of poison stuff. The Dominance passive seems really strong. So what would we want here? Bubble Burst we would probably honestly never ever use. So let's say the heck with that. Honestly, I'm not so sure we would use Poison Bomb even. If we're gonna go, if we're gonna go down this route, I think we would just go with the combo. So we go with proliferate. Um, we'll do that. Is this all magical damage? It is, yeah. Um, let's get down next tier here. Health proc. Weapon break. Overcast is interesting. Uh, 
weakness. This would definitely be like a, a healer role character. But it would also be an attacking character. But you would probably, to fit in a party, you would probably need to have shielding. Take regen shield, health proc. Saboteur's shield. Uh, you feel like a character I might use. So let's see. You would you would need probably a staff, maybe a bracelet, mana ring, like all mana stuff. Maybe maybe the medallion. Maybe the ocarina. Yeah, we'll go with that for you. know what? In fact, let's let's put you on the team somewhere. Tango, I think you're bumped, pal. I'm sorry. Okay, where am I here? I gotta go up. It's tough too, because it's one of those things where uh, in terms of my plan for all these monsters. One, uh, I don't need to use all of them. And that's pretty clear in the fact that I'm not. Yeah, let's go with this. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to use all of them. So I probably don't need to spend a ton of time on buffing up every single one. But by the same token, they're all really neat. I think that dude might die to the burn, so let's try to get a kill here. I was way off on that. But this should still be an easy finish. There is something to be said about farming low-level enemies for uh, materials and things like that. Uh, I was also thinking of maybe refighting some of the, the bosses, but I don't know if I'll be doing that on camera. It just seems, I'm not going to say a waste of time, but it would be a waste of viewer time. I think the exploring and finding of new things is a little more interesting than me refighting. Especially in a, in a realm where I might be just refighting just to crush them. We got two eggs there. Always nice to have more eggs for the Sanctuary, or the stronghold. I wonder if is there a max number of monsters you can put in there. All right, so coming up here, I think we can use maybe one of the levitates. We can chase whatever this thing is. Oh. Manticorp. I would really like to... Are oh, they weak to physical? That's interesting. I think... I think Barrow...
One of them just changed? That's wild. So one of them was not a manticore. We start with Flurry here. The fact that they're weak to physical makes this not super difficult. But they also do a lot of damage. So Claw here will finish this one off for sure. Easy. I would like to get a four star on this. I don't know if it's gonna happen. But we'll certainly try. Yeah, we just finished this one off. Oh god, could have killed that from full health probably. What does the electricity do? When attacking a shocked monster, doing an additional hit. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it matters what order we go in here. I think this is probably. Oh no, because that's right. Because it's not actually a manticore. Don't know what its weakness is. Get a crit here, maybe? Nice. Alright, that one well. We get a four star. We get a Manticore bag. Very nice. We get a monster bell. Respawns all defeated wild monsters immediately. Interesting. We get a harp. Mana regeneration five. Healing skills increased by 15%. That seems like a really good item. Alright, let's hatch a manticorb. Yeah, we'll just call you that. Uh, let's see what your skills are. You've got arcane bolt, voltage, ignite. So you're you're a multi multi element caster. When exploding enemy weakness with an attacking sorcery and shield self. Um, can you get like a multi sorcery? Because if you can't, yeah, you can. Hmm. Transfusion. Recover health equal to 200% the amount of mana regenerated. That seems insane to me. Does that not just give you just a ludicrous amount of health regen per turn? seems nuts. Solar burst. Weird scaling on this one. It does less individual damage per hit, but gains hits. Hex, every hit has a 7.5 chance to apply a random debuff. Exploit party. Whenever a monster in the party exploits an enemy weakness, it means a random buff. Man. Okay, let's let's actually place some points here. We would want this and certainly transfusion.
And if you're gonna have buffs, you're gonna get the good ones. We would probably want you to have all of the, the magic. You would need to go further down the trees. A lot of points to get down to these these other skills. So it would probably give you maybe mana buffer for now. And I think you're also going to go on the team somewhere, but where? Maybe you replace Magma Pillar, honestly. Maybe you replace Mogwai. Uh, you're gonna need equipment though if we're gonna do this. In fact, let us do that. So you would need some sort of magic buffer. Could give you the kunai. Actually. Do healing skills include shields? I'm really curious about that. So you would probably benefit more from mana regen than just raw mana. Giving you a giant pile of defense is pretty beneficial also, however. Give you a medallion. And a tome. I think you'll actually go on the team right now. All right, that covers a lot of our exploration. Maybe, maybe I will just end with refighting a boss, just to see. Like, I don't really want to go start something else right now or continue our new exploration because it's about that time. So maybe we can just refight a boss. Now, that being said, I don't know if you refight them at the same level. Oh, it does scale them up. Brutal. That's very interesting. But I am curious. So you're weak to that. Yeah, you heal for an insane amount of return. It's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Interesting though, these always scale. That makes it pretty tough on the refights.
Oh, he's got, like, no mana. Uh, let's see, we'll probably cast Bolted here. Will we get a five-star performance out of this? I don't know. I don't know if we'll kill it fast enough to do so. But I think we've got our... our plan here. I think we just do this combo every turn. So we actually might want to open with... Air Sickle. that dodge coming into play there. Uh, this does 160, 195, 200%. Yes, yeah, so we should actually do this in the opposite order. I think it's really gonna matter here. Was that a five star performance? No. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill them faster for that. That's tough. Alright, well, we will stop there for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did click like, help us a bunch, subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.